Welcome back, YouTubers, to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, so we are up for a mail call. Uh, up first, International Royal Mail. Um, pretty excited. Anytime I get something from across the pond, because usually that means it's one of my harder to find things, things that weren't as widely distributed over here in the States, so. And this is a flat package, which are my favorites, because boxes come in flat packages. We have a number three, or number 30 matchbox. So this is definitely an older one. And this box actually looks, for its age, to be in really remarkable shape. I don't think uh, I don't think I need to do any restorations on this one. So awesome! Excited about that one. And I've got uh, several of these cars, um, none with boxes. So this is a great find. Up next this is from Howard Huto. Howard. So I've got a couple things in here. Oh, I remember what these are. So a lot of times you get into collecting you'll find sort of fringe collections or side collections and that's what these are um, I'm planning on shooting a, a future video uh, to talk about these a little bit more but um, these are actually matchbox knockoffs uh, so these are from a company called Blue Box Toys and they are or were I guess, or I guess still are um, based in Hong Kong and these are uh, copies of Matchbox models um, none of the none of the pieces that they did uh, apparently in China they were not creative enough to come up with their own design so the company actually like would wait and watch and see which models Matchbox would introduce and then they would totally rip them off um, and make identical models uh, just in plastic instead of die cast. So um, almost every model that they have in the line is a direct copy of one of the Matchbox castings and I wanted to do a comparison video that would show one of the Blue Box toys and then its Matchbox equivalent or counterpart. Um, and these, you know, they're not nearly as valuable as the Matchbox models are. Um, I think most of these I picked up for a dollar to two dollars a piece. These ones I think I paid five dollars for because they had the original boxes with them. Um, so you know, really cost effective to uh, to collect. Um, kind of a fun you know side piece if you collect the Matchbox um, to also you know try to find a couple of these models. So. That's that's what those are. Next, this is from Scott Kimmelman. We got a couple in here. You know me, you know I love finding multiples if I can save on shipping. We have a Matchbox Series number 62 uh, TV service van. Got a few of these models. Um, actually, in the middle of doing a restoration on one of these right now, um, but I ordered this because I don't have any that have an original box. And as you can see, this box has had uh, some damage in the past. Um, it's currently got some sellotape on there holding it together. 
got probably a price sticker was once up on the top there. Um, and decent price because of the, the damage on the box. Um, but the model itself looked to be in pretty remarkable shape. Um, I can tell the ladder has been painted or maybe colored. Um, you can see some of the original red showing through. Um, somebody, uh, probably the child that owned this, decided that they wanted a silver ladder rather than a red one. Uh, the back does come up. Let's see, am I lucky enough? Did this come with any? It, it has all three televisions and the antenna. Nice. Uh, as you can see, the antenna's got a little of that silver on it as well. So for this one, I may try uh, one of my methods to see if I can remove that silver, get these back to the original red. Um, these are actually really difficult to find. I can get them reproduction, but the reproductions are a totally different kind of plastic. Um, they're a completely different color of plastic. Uh, the sprue arrangement is different, and they're not nearly as, as high quality or detailed as these ones are. Um, so, definitely will we'll shoot a restoration video on this, um, both to see if I can restore the plastics on that. The rest of the van, I don't think I would touch. Maybe, you know, touch up some of the worn bumpers and silver on there. Um, and I do want to do a video about the differences between a uh, restoration and a preservation. I would look at this one as more of a preservation. Um, trying to bring it back to what it was originally and just preserving its current state um, so that it will last a little longer into the future. But um, you know, something, something as good as this, I would never want to strip or refinish. Um, so that, that may be a preservation candidate there. Also in that set, This one I am super excited about. Um, I recently decided I was going to try to come across all the different uh, two-wheel, the, the motorcycles, the sidecars, to get a complete set of those models. Um, and this one, the number 36, um, that's the motor scooter and sidecar. Um, this is one of the more difficult ones to find and next to impossible to find in the box. So this box, as you can see, has some it's pretty da bad damage on it. Um, it's been taped in areas as well. Um, you see these end flaps are taped on. This one's completely missing. Um, no, it's not missing. It's just inside. Um, so this is going to be a great candidate for box restoration. And then look at this model. Isn't that great? Got a little bend on uh, the handlebar, but both of the handlebars are intact. Um, usually when I find these, these are always broken off and missing. Um, and this actually has both handlebars, so I don't know if that's even worth attempting to try to rebend. I think it, as delicate as that die cast is, if I would put any pressure on that, I think it's just going to snap off. So. Um, pretty, pretty nice model, pretty decent shape, um, for sure, you know, one I want to keep just exactly how it is in my collection, so super excited about that one, and definitely will be doing a future video on the restoration of the box for this model. Uh, I'm going to try to keep, keep all my pieces together here as they just flake off. Up next, we've got this is from J. Bell. Let's see what J sent. Holy cow, this is a big box. There's quite a bit in here. Um, I think I've talked about this in some of my earlier videos before, but anytime I can buy an entire lot of something or a whole group of something and get a decent deal on it, 
Um, I try to do that because buying in bulk is usually cheaper for me. I save some money doing it. Um, and this was this was a very cheap lot. Um, and really, the only reason I even bid on this auction was this right here. Um, this is an original gray plastic wheel. Uh, you saw in my earlier video, I'm working on some of these uh, tractor restorations. Um, and this I bought absolutely, purely, 100% for the parts. This has got a good steering wheel on it. It's got one, and I needed one of these gray wheels. Um, I priced the aftermarket parts for this, and I'm looking about $10 for a set of uh, tires, and another like $6 just for the steering wheel. So it's 16 bucks. Um, you know, just for the, the parts alone in this one. Uh, you can see we've got one of the, um, actually this is the Mercedes, I think. Yeah, the Mercedes trailer. Um, I love these things too. You can tell like this was probably somebody's mom marked it with some nail polish. So they knew which one was theirs when they were playing with all their friends. Everybody had their cars together. This one you can see it's missing the tongue. Um, not really anything we can do with that, but um, again, if you price what the aftermarket uh, replacement wheels might be, um, or the axles too, uh, this is a, a great uh, parts piece. Um, so again, I think I paid less than $10, including shipping for all of these. Um, not sure what this is, not a, made in China, not a matchbox. Um, stuff like this goes straight to my kids to play with. Also in this box, nice combine model. Um, harvester. This has all of the wheels and tires with it. Um, I have one of these that is in near mint condition and it's actually missing this axle piece that, that holds this together. Um, it at some point came apart uh, the plastics on it are in really good shape, but it's actually separated. Um, so I may be able to use this as a parts model to restore the one that I have that is near mint as well. Um, oh, there's actually two of those. So actually this one, yeah, this one might go into the collection. This one looks like it's in a little bit rougher shape. Um, missing some of the wheels, tires. Um, this has the separation that my other model does. Um, so maybe, maybe this will be a good donor for a restoration. And then lastly, uh, got a shovel in there as well. Um, this was another model I bought just for the, the wheels and tires. So like I said, this all of these were together in one lot. Um, and they were sold as parts cars and for what I paid for the entire set I couldn't order even you know two of these wheels um, and I have better models better copies of all of these um, that are all missing a little thing you know missing one wheel missing a tire missing a steering wheel so um, getting a cheap lot like this it gets me a whole bunch of parts that help me fix up some of my other models Always excited about that. And last but not least, this is from Fran Grant. Big box. Just one little thing right down the middle. Really well wrapped. Original Matchbox Series number 33, Ford Zephyr. Um, again, pricing on this one was extremely discounted uh, because it has this issue of the mask, uh, masking tape around the end, the sellotape on the corner here. Um, so this is 
what I love to find because I know that these are, are both issues that I can easily fix, um, that this box can be restored. You can see here, this is probably, or was probably a price sticker at some point. Somebody took off. And in addition to the box, got the model. This looks like a near mint Ford Zephyr. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a paint issue there, a scratch, or if that's actually some of the some of the silver from the front. Um, see a little bit of wear along the bumper. Got a couple issues on the door here. Um, so not mint, but still really good shape for what it is. This is a uh, silver plastic wheel. Um, I've got a couple of these, but not any in the silver plastic uh, format. So excited to have that one with the box. And this will be a great uh, future restoration of this box. So that's it for our mailbag this week. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, our channel comment on our videos let us know what you're excited about let me know what i'm doing right what i'm doing wrong what you'd like to see in the future um, and lastly don't forget to click that subscribe button down down here um, so that you can keep up with all of our future video postings